Hello, Lifeway family. Welcome to our first day on our 40 days of wisdom. What an exciting journey. This is going to be a personal growth for us, for our church. We're going to be learning how to make wiser choices in order to obtain better results in life in all kinds of areas in our lives. We're going to learn how to make better decisions, how to solve difficult problems, how to deal with difficult relationships, how to deal with uh, bitterness, with evil and injustice, how to manage our time better, how to focus and be more productive in our lives, how to be able to have a diligent heart, how to break old habits, how to build new habits. We can also learn how to uh, stay away from temptation and be free from those traps that keep us from advancing into the purposes of God. I'm very excited, so I want to invite you to make the most of this time. The very first thing we need to do is to make a few commitments. You know, good intentions is not going to be enough. A, a desire to change does not change us. It simply brings regret. But when there's a commitment to change, then there's real progress. I've heard it say that the road that leads to destruction is paved with good intentions. So the commitments that I want to ask you are very simple. Number one, make a commitment to come for the next seven weeks to church, be present and listen and take notes on every message that I'll be bringing on the topics of wisdom, seven different topics. If you're serving in kids church that Sunday, please make the commitment to watch the message online later that Sunday evening. Also, I want you to commit to read the book of Proverbs and the book of Ecclesiastes. The book of Proverbs is a book that will help you minimize suffering in your life if you choose to live by the wisdom in that book. The reason why that is true is because life generally operates on a fairly predictable set of rules. If you live by those rules, you have a better life. Now, there are some exceptions to those rules, and those exceptions are dealt with in the book of Job and in the book of Ecclesiastes. But even so, in those moments when you do what is right and still things don't work, the book of Proverbs still gives you the wisdom to deal with those unpredictable circumstances so that you can come stronger on the other side of those exceptions. Every week, we're going to be memorizing a wisdom verse. So to help you read your daily Proverbs reading or Ecclesiastes reading, you can use the 40 Days of Wisdom bookmark. In it, you'll find what you're going to read and when. So every week, you're going to read five different chapters of Proverbs, and you're going to memorize a weekly verse. Every week, you'll do the same. So today is Wednesday, January 1st. We start with Proverbs 1. Next Wednesday will be week number 2, and the next Wednesday will be week number 3, and so forth. On week number 7, it'll be a little different because we're going to read a few extra chapters on Ecclesiastes and Proverbs as well. And the last commitment that I want to invite you to make is to go to as many prayer wells as possible. What is a prayer well? A prayer well is a prayer meeting, and we're going to have 12 different prayer meetings on the first 21 days of our 40 Days of Wisdom. Yesterday was our first prayer meeting during our New Year's Eve service, which was a true blessing. Last night we enjoyed uh, sharing communion together and welcoming the New Year in prayer. For that, we have our prayer wells sheet, and in it you're going to find the different homes that will be hosting a prayer well. Tomorrow, we're going to be meeting at the Baines in Chester, and then on Friday, we're going to be at the Catrubuses in Bedford. And then to complement our readings of Proverbs and Ecclesiastes, I want to let you know something really special. We're going to be giving you this very beautiful uh, devotional written by Ray Comfort. It's called Think of These Things, Wisdom for Life from Proverbs. There are 365 readings. There is a proverb. There is an insight for that proverb. There is a soul-searching question, and then it closes with a very brief prayer. Uh, it's a great appetizer to start your day and then dig into your readings of Proverbs and Ecclesiastes. And I promise you, they're so insightful. I started reading it today, and uh, it really spoke to my heart. So I hope you can really enjoy this. 
Everyone's going to get a copy. We ordered a hundred of these. I was able to talk to uh, CBD in Ma Massachusetts and they gave us a really special discount. The book usually is uh, $17 and we got it for almost $8. So that was a really neat uh, uh, discount. And this is going to be a gift uh, for each one of you. Uh, take it and if you have a friend that maybe needs this, uh, we, we might have enough to, to give a few away to a friend or to a neighbor. So I hope you can enjoy it. And I want to close this video with our Rhema verse for the whole year, which is, Lord, teach us to number our days that we may grow a heart of wisdom, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. I want you to not waste your life on 2020. I want you to be productive. I want you to be able to live on purpose for God. I want you to be able to, to look back and say, I tune my heart to wisdom. I'm starting to see results. I'm starting to see things change. I'm committed to these things. I want you to get on board. I want you to put your best heart, your best attitude. We are a family. We want to do this together. Please come and join us. I hope to see you tomorrow at the prayer well at the Baines. May God bless you. I'll be praying for you. I love you and thank you for being a part of something greater than any of us can do by ourselves. I love you. God bless you, church. Amen.